kidding me, man? He's still strutting before he goes into the woods there. Pulling up to the uh, Kentucky DNR Forestry um, Nursery, I suppose. Beautiful. Look at all the standing water here from the la rains we've had the last few days. But I'm here to pick up the uh, roughly 13,000 Loblolly Pines. Another new adventure. Wow, I'm pretty sure that ain't all supposed to be uh, water there. Look at all the trees underwater. All right, let's go see what kind of trees we got. Some teal right there. Man, that's pretty awesome to see teal. Don't see them too often. All right, we are in cold storage right here. Yeah. What do you keep it at in here? It feels what, 30-ish, 40? 45? Yeah. Give or take. The humidity is about 65. Okay. Give or take. What do you got here? Are these pines? These are willow oaks. Willow? Yeah. Okay. Uh, grab one of these and one of these. You go and you're making a slot. You'll get a rhythm. Okay. Uh, you'll need a pack or something to put your trees in, whatever you got. Set your tree down in. The tree, you're going to plant it right at the root collar. But them pines yeah. are going to be much shorter roots, be correct? Sh that's right. Okay. Uh, now here's the part: if you when you pull back, the bottom of the root is getting closed in. Okay. When you push forward, the top gets closed in. And if you got good wet ground, just kind of make sure you don't have air pockets. Okay. And then step forward however far you want to go for your next one. Do it again. Uh, so I, I take it you have to do the two cuts as opposed to just heel and heel packing the whole thing in. That's right. And you and the second one, uh, the most important part is pulling back first. I see. Get because that, that right. pushes the bottom down. Okay. Uh, closes in the bottom of the hole. And then when you push forward, you're done. That'll take. You're good to go with that. Okay. Super okay, I'm grabbing planted. the truck and the trailer. Uh, these these people in Kentucky are just awesome to work with. Totally awesome. Um, he's going to let me borrow five spades, so hopefully we can have a full crew. And he said that, uh, you know, if you get rolling by hand, at least him, he said he could plant, you know, 500 trees in a three-hour, you know, stretch. So let's get loaded up. This is pretty exciting. Okay, so I did not need the trailer, but I wasn't sure if I was going to need it or not, so I brought it. Load it up. 13,000 right there. Packs of 500. There's a quick look at uh, presumably how they set them up in rows. They didn't have any for me to look at uh, because these came from another nursery in a different part of the state. Okay, and I think that that little one is a baby goose. So that tells you that we should have had babies probably a while ago already. Okay, uh, I'm on the way to cold storage right now with the trees, and if my right eye looks pretty trashed and red, it's not because I had too much to drink last night. Yesterday on the four-wheeler, I had got a bug in my eye when I was uh, going back and forth to filling up the Roundup, 
And not only did it hit my eye, but something stung me then after that. That's a first for me, but I felt it hit and I closed it and all of a sudden this burning sensation right on the eyeball. So yeah, it's uh, it's still hurting. I don't know if just the sting or what, if the bug's still in there or what. But anyways, we're going to drop off the trees and then I still need to finish spraying before we can even get started. So. Let's head to the cooler. Here's a look at that property that we were going to buy that got sold from under us. This is the WRP parcel. And it is pretty much all underwater. Great for, uh, great for wildlife and ducks for sure. But there's a look at it. Ironically, it's not all that far from uh, Project 211. Here's a look at the packaging, 500 each. Kentucky Forestry, handling instructions, keep cool, keep wet, keep moist, all the basics. So now they are going into cold storage. The DNR from uh, Southern Illinois let me use this with them. So this was a lifesaver right here until we could start planting.